down Cody's Corner Where nobody wears a frown Cody's Corner Hey James, what'd you think about that song? I just gotta say, I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> I I really do love that song. Well, at least somebody does. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yes, welcome to Cody's Corner. Uh, Cody's Corner is kind of developed into more of kind of like. A trivia corner. This is this is where we get to test Jason and James's knowledge of Disney movies. We never get to test Cody's though. Hey, well, <laughs> get your own corner. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know, in the future, if things go the way that I hope that they're going, the Disney umbrella may extend to Apple products as well. <laughs> Cody's Corner is strictly no Apple. <laughs> yeah, if that happens, it's not he'll, he'll, be asking us, Corner. he'll be asking us questions about Ted Lasso. And, <laughs> and that is a pretty incredible show, though. Have you seen yeah, that? Ted is, Lasso? That, that show alone is showing you how awesome of an entertainment company that Apple is. I haven't seen the show, but I've seen clips. So oh, you, you got to watch the show. It's fantastic. Yeah. It is fantastic. They have, they have enough money. See, I don't, I don't classify them as an entertainment company because all they're doing is just throwing money at entertainment people and say make something and we'll put our logo on it isn't that just kind of how they're, they're not creating content <laughs> they're paying for content they're paying for people to create content well they're sourcing the content at the at the heart of it i mean that's kind of any entertainment company right i mean you could say the same thing about disney no, you can't. There's too much heart with Disney. <laughs> Apple is a cold, cold white wall, oh. stainless steel, metallic, and glass. Welcome building. to Cody's Corner, where there's about to be a fight. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> All right. Uh, so if you've been listening to a while, Cody's Corner kind of goes through different phases and evolutions. It, truthfully, it's whatever I want it to be. And Recently, I've been doing a lot of trivia because that's easy for me because I have a ton of trivia cards. How about new? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I like trivia. All right. So uh, I have a whole stack, and this is only a, about half of my trivia cards that I have un, unread. And I don't look, go looking through these. Um, I know Jason has all these same trivia cards because he has the same game. Um, yep, Disney trivia. But mine's yep. still not open yet. Luckily, he doesn't have photographic memory, and his isn't even open. Yeah. So I'm picking a random card out of the middle, if I can grab one here. There are five questions on it. I will read the five questions. If you're listening or watching, you're more than welcome to play along and see if you know these questions maybe you can beat james and jason it's probably not very hard it's not very hard <laughs> we need the disney trivia kids edition yeah. I, cody cody's our biggest supporter i always feel his support when we're doing this thank you cody that's why i want to see i want to see cody answer some of these i might be taking over cody's corner next week oh hey me and james we each get to pick five questions and see if cody knows them Hey, we, we did a, 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 a collective Talking Disney podcast trivia night, and I believe I smoked you all then. So I don't know. I don't remember egos that. egos are just bruised, but I don't need to prove myself any further. Yeah, I don't remember that. We might so. need to listen to that episode again. Did you smoke us? I, I probably didn't smoke you, but I, I would. <laughs> <coughs> I think I did uh, a little bit better. <laughs> probably, probably. I, I can maybe, I can sense maybe. there's a little doubt in your voice right now, though. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was it was it was really confident at first. <laughs> I am humble enough to say that I did not smoke you guys. Okay. All right. Okay. I I won't lie. I won't outright yeah. lie. I know I didn't I, go through that episode and get everything right. I know. I remember <laughs> being like, man, I do not know that one, and I think. I think the questions that stumped me the most were the ones that came from 
uh, some of our listeners that helped contribute to that episode. So yeah. um, I remember Brooke giving us some questions that were um, pretty tough. So I'm trying to remember what episode that was. I 75. Go back. Wow. Was it? Yeah. Pretty sure. Impressive. Yeah, That's talking Disney podcast trivia night. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? We, are, we ready. are ready. And I don't have a dry erase board yet, and I feel very concerned that I don't have a dry erase board yet. You had a busy week. Yeah. So you've got none at your house anywhere that you can snag from somewhere? Well, no. Okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question. Question number one. All right. Get your whiteboard and yellow legal paper ready. <laughs> Got my whiteboard ready. It's even branded. It uh, is. Question number one. What are the names of Cinderella's stepsisters? And to help you I just out, saw she, them has, in she has two stepsisters. Okay. What are their names? Cinderella's stepsisters. I'm looking for two names. I know one of them. Okay. All right. <clears throat> but I don't know how to spell it necessarily. That's okay. We're not going for spelling. Good. If I can look at it and say that's what it is, then we're good. Cool. Uh, I what don't you, know the you, second. You, you writing an essay over there, Jason? What no, the I keep it gracious. I, I don't remember what they are. I, I, I think I know what one of them is. And it's All not right. going to be no, no, <clears throat> no stupid answers this time. Like, you know, it's her stepmom's daughter or something like that. Like last, <laughs> well, I have names. Step the, stepsister the, one and two. The, the Cliff Clavin answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, go ahead, James. Reveal your answers. James uh, says Drizella and question mark. Is it? Uh, is it Anastasia? I don't and, know. That's. And Jason has Anastasia. Well, if you combined both of your answers, you would have you got Anastasia right. and Drizella. I was thinking the second one started with a G. I was going to put Gisella, but I was like, no, that's not right. <laughs> it would have been close, but it wasn't right. That sounds Anastasia just stupid. Anastasia <laughs> and Drizella. <laughs> okay. So see, combined collectively, we hey, are we have a one. Disney trivia powerhouse. <laughs> Individually, <laughs> Eh, not, not so much. much. <laughs> so, you know what we should do? They have trivia nights, and I'm sure in Vegas they happen all over the place. Or if we were all the next time we're all down in California together, you know, you there's got to be some bar or something that's got Disney trivia going on, and we should co collectively. We don't want to be working against each other, but we need to be our <laughs> own team. And see how much, you know, then, then we can really test ourselves using our collective knowledge. There you go. Let me see. Disney. So, fun. so, so trivia uh, in Vegas. So you, so I'm Googling thinking, it. So you're thinking in Vegas that there's Disney trivia things happening in bars all over town. I mean, <laughs> it's not like, I'm just saying that. Ve Vegas may have changed. Vegas may have changed just a uh, little bit since you left. <laughs> I'm just saying that trivia is something that happens in bars and other establishments. And I bet no. you on occasion they do a Disney night. Uh, Disney is see, a very popular topic. I Where agree. Where is this at? Tuesday, March 15th, 2022. Uh, we passed that it one. It doesn't say this, where it's at, but 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock in Las Vegas, Disney Renaissance Trivia Night. Oh, that's even specific. That's Renaissance trivia. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's some club. I don't know. It, it doesn't say. It, it already passed, so. Well, we'll be ready for I'm just next saying, year. I, it's yeah. out there. We just got to find it. Yes, we just got to find it. And when we do, we can go and clean house. That's Disney right. Disney Villains trivia at the Tequila and Mezcal House in Nevada. I'm not sure where that's at. We'll all go but yeah, it's out there. We'll all go in there wearing t-shirts from DC Comics, so it looks like we're just like total... <laughs> idiots and have nothing yeah. to do with disney and then we'll just clean yeah. the house yep yeah we'll be like Smart. hustlers we're the disney trivia hustlers, hustlers. Nice. all right so we each got point five, right yeah we'll, we'll, we'll award a half a point okay all right sounds to good each of you. all right i'm keeping track in the corner okay you might only mine, get half a point so you might want to take it while you can get it yeah yeah <laughs> all right 
Okay. Well, see, that's something that's, that I can do on the video up there. I can keep a, a tally of the points going on. Oh, there, there you go. go. And I yeah. can I can send you a picture of the card so that way you can even put the question up on the screen and then the answer as well. There you go. You're just you're just adding more work for this poor guy. <laughs> James. No, that's good. That's what I want. That's what I want. That sounds great. It'll be a little bit more enjoyable for the people watching. So there you go. All right. Um, I hope you like names because you got to give me some more of them. Ariel from the Little Mermaid has six sisters. <sighs> what are two of their names? So she has six sisters. I just need two names. I need two of them. Any two. And I'll even give you a hint. They all start with the letter A. A. Yeah. So oh, they do? Yes. So James, cross that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Next piece of paper. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let me see. Let me see. I can only think of one out of the six. That can't be right. Hey, you know what? I'm sticking with it. All right. Um, and so this time, uh, instead of you revealing and me trying to read and then compare to the list, I'm going to read all six names. Okay. And then, you know, Scout's Honor, you tell me if you got any. Ben, down. You, you read all six names. I'm just going to go ahead and write those down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave right. my pen up here so you can't all right. oh yeah right. the six names and I'm looking for two of them are Atina, Alana Adela, Aquata Arista and Andrina do I have to show mine? <laughs> <laughs> yes you gotta show it for, for a second, I thought we were going to go like into an Austin Powers thing, and I thought one of them was going to be Ivana. And well, <laughs> I just won't say what comes after that. You have to go watch Austin <laughs> Powers. <laughs> uh, so I had to put. I was close, but I didn't get Athena. I said Athena uh, and Ashley and Ashley and Ashley. <laughs> yeah, Tisdale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said Aurora, and I thought, well, it can't be Aurora. And then I just, what else did I put? Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Did, I you, just... did you find us a eh, eh, Jason? Oh, uh, no, I did not. The All closest right. I got is uh, eh, eh. that. That doesn't work, though. Or here, here, here. How about no? How about no? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, one of J Jason's favorite movies and one of James's favorite movies. Oh, shoot. I sent some sarcasm there. Which orchestra oh, performs shoot. the music in the 1940 film Fantasia? Which oh, Jason orchestra? Knows it. Jason couldn't wait to start writing the answer to that one. <laughs> I don't know one. the exact title, though. What are you looking for? Um, the, so the it is... It's, <laughs> <laughs> the name of the orchestra. I will say that it is the blank orchestra and the yeah. blank is a city. Yeah. So it's the blank orchestra and it's a city. So it's some city's orchestra, the blank orchestra. Huh? Well, we can rule out Las Vegas. I don't think it's Las Vegas. Um, I'm writing the name of a city that I think has a prestigious orchestra, but I honestly right. have no idea. You ready? All you right. ready? All right. Let's see. Jason says Philadelphia Orchestra and James says the London Orchestra. And, and I was going to write. Correct. Oh, dang it. What were you going to write, James? New York. Hmm. It was, in fact, the Philadelphia Orchestra. All right, next question. Are we ready? James, you you, uh, you might be able to redeem yourself, okay? I might be able to. What is it? It's one and a half to a half, half. right? A yeah. half, yep. 
running out of time. All right. Question number gotta four. Catch up. Okay. During what song from the Hunchback of Notre Dame does Quasimodo dream of spending just one day in the town? Uh, so I'm looking for the name of that song. Song where he describes being down in the town for a day or dreams of being down in the town with the people during what song from the hunchback of Notre Dame does Quasimodo dream of spending just one day in the town? I can only think of one song name from the movie right now. Is it the right one? No, it's the wrong one. Oh, well, right. The right one. I don't, I can't think of the right one. <laughs> James, maybe not a chance. <laughs> okay. Not a All chance. Right. What yep. do we got? Uh, Jason says dreaming of the town. <laughs> the town. <laughs> and then J- James says one day after the. Not after. With. Oh, one day with the. Hot the gypsy girl. Hot gypsy <laughs> girl. Okay. Um, no, unfortunately. I, I thought that was the name of the song. Okay. No, the, the name of the song. How about now? The name of the song is called Out There. <laughs> Out There. Outside of the castle or the, the monastery the, or whatever it is. The hot gypsy girl voiced by Demi Moore. So. All right, question number five. This one, uh, you guys got a 50-50 shot at getting this one right. It's a true or false. All right. All right. True or false. In The Nightmare Before Christmas, Santa Claus shows he forgives Jack Skellington by bringing Snowfall to Halloween Town. True or false. Santa Claus? Santa Claus. I'll read it again. True or false? In The Nightmare Before Christmas, Santa Claus shows he forgives Jack Skellington by bringing Snowfall to Halloween Town. True or false? Uh Did you change your mind, James? I did. Oh, interesting. Which answer was correct? The first one or the second one? Right. J- James is, Jason's up sure also. I'm unsure. I think I think me and James had opposite answers, and I think we changed into the opposite answers. <laughs> I think so. All right. What do we got? James says true. Jason says true. The correct answer is true. Nice. I had false at first. So did I. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. False was bigger on the paper, James. So that's the answer I'm taking. So you didn't get a point for that one. <laughs> Looks like I am victorious this week. I think James won last week, right? Oh no, we tied last week. Yep. Didn't we? And we should be keep I should be keeping a tally. Last yeah. week we didn't do a Cody's Corner. So two weeks well, ago. Two I weeks ago. We last time. Last, ep- last last episode. Yeah, last time we did yeah. Cody's Corner. Yep, I'm not sure. Well, we did record last week. It was just on Monday, right? Before did, all you guys left. Well, I guess we did do a Cody's Corner yeah. last week. Yeah, we did. We, yeah, we didn't do Disney yeah. A to Z. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, we just recorded at the very beginning of the week. Yep. That's true. All right. Yeah. Well, good deal. Good job. That's true. Yeah, James got it right there. James got one and a half points, and Jason got two and a half points. Two and a half, yeah. So your mission by next episode, James, is to get you a little whiteboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Walmart, five ninety nine, I think. Nice. Bet, bet you so, can find one at the dollar store. Probably. Probably cost you about a dollar. Cody's Corner. Come on, gather round. Cody's Corner, where nobody wears a frown. Cody's Corner.